My name is Michael Wilson, I'm a medical physicist and I work in nuclear medicine and positron emission tomography. I did physics, maths and chemistry. I went to university and took natural sciences, which means you had to do a whole bunch of sciences. And then I was allowed to specialise in physics and did a degree in physics. Purely by chance, I met a friend who was in medical physics. And so I applied to do that, and that's what I've been doing. A typical medical physicist actually works in radiotherapy, and that's using radiation to treat cancer. Making sure that those machines are really working so that they're really giving the radiation dose that the doctor has prescribed. If you give too much, you can do serious damage. If you give too little, then you can let the cancer run riot. So that's a serious job. The body's a fragile and wonderful machine uh, and seeing inside it can be quite tricky. We very often are able to say how extensive the disease is and so we can guide what the medics do um, with all their wonderful biological fancy research. Well, physics is one of those subjects that gives you a completely new way of looking at the world. Everything that you think you understand about the world is challenged when you come to understand what's going on either at the very small level or at the very large level. In my more reflective moments, I do stand back and I do think, my goodness, this machine that I live in is wonderful. It really is fantastically put together. There's a sort of an element of feeling awestruck when you see some of these pictures, particularly when you see what the body is doing, rather than just what it looks like, when you see what it's doing, all the machinery that's going on there, totally unobserved usually, uh, and keeping you fit and well without you ever having to think about it. But you've got to do a degree in physics. As it stands in this country, there's no other way to get into medical physics. We have the creme de la creme working for us. You look inside an IT unit, and it's littered with high-tech bits of equipment, which potentially physicists could be involved with. Physicists tend to be involved in the things that don't yet work properly, the things that can't be left to themselves. So we sort of work with the more cutting edge stuff. I don't know what's next on the horizon. There have been sort of moments where something new has come along. In the 70s, it was CT scanning, and it burst on the scene. In the 80s, uh, it was MRI, and at the moment, it's been PET scanning. I don't know what's next on the horizon. I could tell you how people are tweaking those machines, but I think there might be something new. Maybe one of the people that come to see this talk will surprise us all.